Good morning, everyone. It's Thursday, the 12th, 12th of March, 2020. Tomorrow's Friday the 13th. I'm gonna try to stay, stay inside tomorrow. Not my favorite day. So I'm going for my physio right now. It's almost 10 o'clock. Busy day today. So my uh, injury on my shoulder. Yesterday I tried to lift some weight because I wanted to reorganize my space in the basement. Nope, 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 nope. No heavy lifting uh, still. Hurts like hell. The moment I lift something, it felt like that inside my shoulder something was going like this. It went and like made a noise and it hurt like hell. So today is gonna be the day. I'm gonna try the machine today. I was uh, I'm not necessarily <laughs> A hard believer in what's gonna happen but from what I talked live back in the day with Preston Nichols the Delta T antenna is a powerful device depending on how it's made and uh, I made mine out of wood and transformator wires I, reckon I made it in a way similar to the last one I made the last one that I made was bigger it was about 20, 21 inch, 22 inch in diameter. And I was using speaker wires that was wrapped all around in every direction. It was going from one side to the others and so on and so on. So this one was a little bit more complicated to make because it was narrower and I wasn't using transmitter wires, I was using uh, regular wires. Transform it, get transformator wires, and um, what has the, what what it does? So you gotta say like, what's the what does it do that you're using transformator wires? It's because it's super hard to wind when you wanna make a spiral formation on something that's already enclosed. When it's just a bar, a solid steel piece of like bar, it's easy because you just hook it to a drill and spin the drill, and you, you just reel it up from left to right, left to right. So it's not that complicated. Yeah, my car's gonna need some repairs. Oh uh, yeah, I have to buy all the check. I have to buy oil as well. So that's that. Uh, I'm gonna give it a try today. But uh, mainly, my what the God device is, it's a wishing machine. It's a thought amplifying machine. And uh, I, the first time I connected, I was connecting it to uh, a, a cross of rock that I made out of uh, steel rod, like steel wires. And it was wrapped around like an antenna and uh, I start using it around the holidays till January and uh, what the crossover I was doing uh, it was bringing me positive vibe positive energy during the entire holidays until the first week of January my vibration level was very high very positive was focusing on the positive things and trying to get out of my mind that I didn't need vacation but it was my constant wishing and uh, at one point it uh, like uh, I don't know by what circumstance but yes I do know which circumstance that uh, my thought got amplified that 
I was so exhausted that at one point my body was going to give up. Shit. Those are mighty, mighty fucking holes in the road. I'm swerving left and right to avoid every fucking pothole in the road. It's just stupid as hell. This highway can't be flat. It's ridiculous. Anyway, so that's what happened. My body was so tired that at one point something was going to give up and it had to be my shoulder. And uh, like the, my therapist uh, says last night, we, we're going to finish the physiotherapy for the shoulder to move, get the proper movement back, and uh, that when you move it doesn't hurt anymore. And then we're going to start like ergotherapy which is like the working of the muscle. And that too is gonna take a good couple of months, like uh, probably one month or two. Because like I say, I tried lifting something yesterday and uh, my arm, my shoulder did not agree with that. It says, nope, 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 nope. Too heavy. circuitry, uh, diodes, resistance, and all these kinds of things. It's all the kinds of things that I usually, I fix for very cheap. My friend brought me uh, his uh, eight barber razor to fix, because the wires are, uh, the wires like broken off. So uh, I reinforced them with shrink tubes, PDA uh, shrink tubes. a kind of shrink tube that is very thick and have glue inside so it makes us a good strength relief so I fixed all of them and he was very happy and then I did uh, his wife uh, old uh, 1979 juicer which is just like an on and off switch with a motor but uh, it was never been it's never been cleaned so the drive shaft was like stuck inside with all the old juice it took me like half an hour just to get it unstuck and turn. I told him that uh, I told her that she has to put some loops in there in order for it to work. And don't put pressure on it. It's like you just put the orange or citrus and just put it there and let it get crushed and juiced out. Don't push on it. It's not like it's not that kind. So it felt good to work a little bit back at the feet, my field of expertise. Because uh, fixing electronics and doing assembly is like my field of expertise. It's what I do best. It's something I have like literally like no problem with. The, the price of gas went so 
solo. I put gas the other day at uh, 115 and uh, now it's like at 104 and certain places almost at 99 cents. So I'm going to refuel today. There's other thing I want to talk about, but I don't want to... If somebody else is watching these videos, I don't want to reveal some information. Give them false hope. But one thing's for sure is I still have the rest of March and probably until May before I get back on my feet. And uh, right now I'm starting to exercise a little bit more to get my blood flow glowing, going and I get my heartbeat back on track and uh, at one point in space and time I'm gonna have to climb the stairs on my, my, the back of my building where, where I live, the back of my building there's a staircase where people put their garbage or in their balcony, whatever but I put my garbage there and uh, those, that staircase is an emergency exit in case of fire and uh, uh, one, two. It's three stories. It's uh, six. No, four stories tall. It's uh, about seven. Seven set of stairs I have to climb. And uh, when you climb upstairs, like the heartbeat really beats. And it's good for like the leg work and all these kinds of things. So uh, I have to start getting things out. Really, just discipline myself to start doing some exercise on every day, on an everyday basis. It's just that my mind is not up to it. That's the that's the hardest part. It's not the body that doesn't want to do anything. It's just the mind doesn't want to follow. This Friday, the local lottery is reaching 40 million. And uh, <laughs> if I can use my machine to win the lottery, that would be the best. I don't say necessarily the 40 million dollars, but a part of it, that would be very, very good. That would extend my uh, time off and uh, resting time for about a, a couple of years. I saw yesterday on a classified ad a house and a huge garage in my uh, native town of Richelieu. The guy is asking uh, 375000 for it. $375,000 for a place that huge and a garage this big. I would consider that a good price. The house is nice though. It's like it doesn't look big from the outside, but it's quite big inside. It's a basement, first floor, and second floor. So that's pretty big. I think that considering making my container house or buying this, it would depend on my wife, like if she wants to move, or I would invest. Because my container house project would probably cost about, I think the, the, the concrete basement would be the most expensive part. Because I want like a two level basement so I can drive my car inside and have like plenty of storage and uh, inside the container house like the structure is a square so that means there's a container on each corner and in the center it's like a big empty space where you have a court and it's covered by a roof so you have a pool there you have a barbecue in the middle it's uh, summer all year round plenty of exercise for the heart warm and uh, plenty of light Instead of being stuck inside like a dark apartment that just saps your mood, you never see the light of day. That would be like open, uh, open, uh, open to light every all the times. So that would be the best, definitely. The container project would be. It would cost me about thirty, thirty thousand dollars just in container alone. And then the concrete slab, which is not a concrete slab, it's also a sub-basement. 
if I make a sub basement with two level basement that would probably cost me 200 grand by itself because it's almost a building made out of concrete underground it has to be sealed of water meaning that <clears throat> no water is coming in and uh, I plan to make it also that it would be self-sufficient meaning that inside the sub basement there would be a water container with a water purifying system uh, there would be uh, outside generators like a gas generators then there would be solar panel and wind turbine so that this place would be completely self-reliant the only issue is that where I want to build it uh, I don't think that the, the network company would offer me a chance to plug be plugged there because it's so far inside the forest my sister-in-law would need to get her license to get a drive, car to drive around because for sure uh, it wouldn't be uh, anywhere near transportation at least that would be left to be seen you know oh my god there's a lot of people Is there an empty space? Nope, nope, nope. Nope, 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 nope. Small car. I hate when they park so far. There's a leash of Santi. It's annoying as fuck. So I guess I'm gonna have to park on the street again. There's like an old man who is like the parking attendant. Told me last time, I have a paper that says I'm going to uh, the clinic. I'm not there like to waste people time. And uh, he told me last time that uh, oh, that was a good idea to put the paper there. Parking two shorts. That's, that's feasible. Lots of people here. <clears throat> now let's see if I'm good at parallel parking. This place is plenty long enough for me to be able to park here. This is how I pass my uh, driver license because I managed to park parallel the first time around perfectly. So that's that, everyone. I'm gonna catch you later and uh, hope what the results are gonna be positive.